Actually, I think they're colors of green and orange. But that's yeah, I don't think they're brought together. I know. I was Sorry, I was trying to say they were my favorite color. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, Did you see that my green and orange right there on the yeah, end? Yeah, those are cool. Okay, so blue and green mm -hmm. is what I'm doing. Okay, do you want me to swirl it in, or do you want me just to put dots on it? I've got. Can you do it like that one? The, that one right there, the blue and brown right there. Oh, okay. What I'm gonna do for that one is I'm gonna make. Probably would be better if I had a green bead and blue stringer. This is called stringer. And all I'm going to do is melt the tip of this and then pull a long, um, a long super skinny piece so I can wrap it around. Oh, okay. So this might be a little bit tricky. You won't be mad if it's a little bit crooked, right? No, I wouldn't care. I usually don't work for naughty. It'd be better than that. How did you learn how to do this? Um, I actually took a class when I lived in Kansas. Okay. I wanted to do it for about five years before I actually got around to taking the class. But um, the minute, just the minute I made my first beat, I was like, I, You loved it? I'm going to do this forever, even if I never sell a thing. And then I did, for a long time, I didn't sell anything. And finally, my husband was like, You know, they're really pretty and everything, but there's really a lot. <laughs> there's little beads around. Can you find something to do with them? So. That's when I started looking into... Do you make jewelry, too, with them? Yeah, yeah I bet. I'm doing jewelry and doing different art projects and What's stuff What's the biggest like piece you have ever made? Well, with this size torch, you can get a little bit bigger than that. As far as big around, are you familiar with marbles? I can make about the size of a shooter marble. Wow. And I, I could glob more glass on it, but that's about how big I can go and still keep it round. So... Is ours ready yet? Oh, y'all were missing us. Huh? Well, let me do this one, and then I'll check yours and see if it's ready. They should be getting close. You guys have been very patient. Thank you. So, first, that's what I just did is called putting the footprint on okay. the mandrel. Oh, so you melt it and you put it on the... Um, mm -hmm. the okay. The mandrel actually is going to... That's what makes the whole of the bead. Well, you saw that before, but... That's what makes the hole, and then you just build on it. It's like anything else. The more perfect you can make your footprint, the easier it is to melt the bead down evenly and everything. But this flame actually gets hot enough that you can usually um, correct for any little, any little mistakes. It's just a matter of keeping it in the heat longer and turning it around. Does the stick ever get hot? Or not oh, that's a good question. Stick, but the, when it's long like this, it doesn't. But sometimes I'll get them down to where they're like that big, and I'm burning my fingers trying to because it's my last piece of that color, and I'm trying to make it um, work on a bead. I've got a great idea or whatever, and I just can't switch colors. So okay. So then it looks like a disc here. Did you see my through these glasses before? You can see a lot better. You, can, you can't see the orange flame. Yeah, it cuts out the soda flare. And you can actually okay. see the glass moving and the, the bead starting to shape up to look like a bead instead of a disc. I oh, yeah. Just, that's it. Bad. I thought you were just putting it on. It gets kind of bigger when Oh, just wearing the glasses? Yeah, I just thought look you were cool. just like. Because they are cool. They, no, they're actually very important. People have told me that the soda flare won't hurt your eyes, but I don't believe them. So. It may not. Does it look a different color like when you're melting it than the final color or does it? Yeah. It turns, it usually gets really, really orange. Oh, okay. It's so hot. Like, here I can, I think I can see. Oh, yeah, that's what, yeah. But when it comes out, it'll be this color okay. once it cools off. All right. I'm not it's always a little brighter. really super good at this. I'm doing the spiral, right? Yes. Around it? Okay. What I'm going to do. The trick here is to keep this bead warm enough that this glass will stick, but not so warm that it melts. Wow. And make this warm enough to stick to it, but not so hot that it melts in. And this can't get too cold or it'll crack. So I'm under a lot of pressure. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna really, actually really once you get it kind of stuck on there, see if I can, okay, then, so you turn it, you have to make the um, stringer part warm enough so that it's soft and you turn and wow. stick to the glass. Whew. I'm sweating.
I never knew how this stuff was done before. That's so neat. Thank you. Like I said, I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Even Eric, my husband, makes fun of me. He's like, gosh, you like go out there and you turn on that flame and the whole world goes away. And it really does when I'm, you know. Well, that's cool, though, that you found that thing that, that you enjoy that much, you know? Yeah, I feel very lucky. I know a lot of people have it. What I'm going to do now is kind of tap the ends down just to make sure they're going to stay. And then heat everything back up again so it kind of all gets the same temperature it'll stick really nicely this has a really tight spiral on it what do you think of that that's pretty cool so, I like that right. but you can still see the green so, okay I'm gonna heat it up a little bit more now my next trick to not mess the speed up is to heat it up and then cool it down enough that it won't stick to the ceramic, but it's not so cold that it's going to break. The ah. blue. Yeah, and really, I mean, it's a generous time frame, but you know, I like to make it tense. So.